Hi, this is Deborah, one of your instructors for uh, CIS 110 Introduction to Computers. And today I'd like to walk through um, some of the key points in the SAM Module 2 uh, Project 1A called Microfarms. I won't have the time to go through the entire project, but I want to hit on the steps or tasks that seem to give students the most problems. And so let's get started. Uh, one of the very first things you are asked to do in this project is to modify the document's normal style by changing the font, the font size, and the uh, line spacing. And in fact, this is one of the areas that seems to trip up students a bit because they, they want to go in and directly change attributes in the text itself. And that's not what we're asked to do. We're asked to change the document's normal style. Styles are packages of definitions that, that are then given a name. And you can see in the styles group on the home tab, we have one named normal. We can also open up the styles dialog and see normal in that list as well. I'm going to click the arrow and choose modify. And now I'm able to actually modify attributes for that named style. And then that will become part of the new definition of that style. So I will change the formatting from Calibri to Times New Roman, which the uh, typefaces here are in alphabetical order, so I should be able to go down to the T's and find Times New Roman, change the size from 11 to 12, and the line spacing uh, is actually a, a paragraph attribute, so I'm going to go here to Format Paragraph and change the line spacing, which is now set at multiple, to double. And I want uh, no blank spaces after the paragraph, so we see there's a spacing before and after. I'm going to change the after down to zero. And then I'll click OK and OK again until I get back into the document. Now we're asked to apply that normal style to the first four paragraphs of the document. And they happen to be, they just look like lines, but they are indeed paragraphs. We can double check that by using the show high tool and see that the little paragraph markers are uh, included. So I'm going to select those first four paragraphs and I just apply a style by going up to the styles group and clicking the named style. So now I have applied that style to the first four paragraphs. Centering the title is nothing more than selecting that title and going to the paragraph group and using the center tool. To insert a header or a footer, we can, but for a header, we are at the very top of the document. If I double click, I will open the header and I can right align that header from the home tab choosing the align right tool. I'm told to just simply type in a name, insert a space, and then insert a plain number page number from the current position gallery. Wow. Well, insert's a keyword, so I'm going to go to the insert tab. And indeed, in the header and footer group, there is a page number tool. Again, reading carefully, I can see that I'm uh, supposed to find the current position gallery. So here's the current position and plain number. So I will click that, and we can see that the number one has been automatically dropped in. You always want to let the computer do what the computer is 
good at doing, which is keeping track of things uh, and using automation. So do not hard code uh, page numbers into your document if you have resources that allow that to be done automatically. I can return to the body of the document by double clicking anywhere inside the body and uh, then you can see that the body has become uh, bold again and not um, shaded like it was when it was inactive. First line indent uh, is something that can be done with the ruler and we are supposed to uh, create that first line indent for all the body paragraphs. So starting with in the United States, you can see my insertion point is blinking before the I in N and then I'm going to go all the way down to the end of the document, the period after the uh, word enterprises. I'm going to use the shift key on my keyboard and left click, click my mouse and automatically by using that shift click technique I've highlighted everything or selected everything from where my initial blinking cursor was to this uh, new selected location. So now that I have all of that selected I would like to create a first line indent. That is the very top little slider bar and you can see that it is first line indent by hovering your mouse over that. And I'm going to left click my mouse and drag over to the exact half inch mark on my ruler and you can see that all the first lines from every paragraph have been indeed indented. For this particular demonstration I have already um, inserted all of the citations but uh, just to make you aware to insert a citation you merely uh, put your insertion point where the instructions indicate then you're going to use the references tab and the insert citation tool uh, and you have you're given the choice to insert a brand new source or there may be some existing sources that you can pull from if instructed to do so. I'm skipping ahead to step 11 where we are providing additional information at the end of the second paragraph. So here we are in the second paragraph and we're going to find the text fruit trees and bushes and we are going to insert a footnote with the following text. So we're, I'm going to read carefully again. My insertion point is in the incorrect position at this point in time. It's before the period. It's supposed to be after. So I will click clearly after the period and insert a footnote. Again, that's the references tab and the footnotes group. Insert a footnote. So it's this very large tool here. As soon as I click, I am uh, jump down to the very bottom of the page, as you can see. So I am at the very bottom of my page, and I am going to just type such practices are called companion planting. Okay, so very good. Now we're asked to modify the footnote style by changing its font size and line spacing. Again, we're not asked to just change the text in line here. We're asked to actually change the style. So one way I can accomplish that is to have my insertion point yes, somewhere inside of that 
object and then from that context menu there's the choice style I have been automatically or by default in that footnote text and that's exactly what I want to be but what do I want to do I want to modify it so I'm going to modify and what do I need to modify it to I need to change the 10 point to 12 and the line spacing to double. Now, that was just a sort of picture icon. How do I know uh, that I indeed changed it to double spacing? Well, I can double check by again using this format paragraph and I can see that the line spacing is indeed double spaced. Okay. And OK and apply. And you can see that there is a, the look of the footnote text has indeed changed. Okay. Those are some of the key things that trip people up in this uh, Module 2. Also, we have the Works Cited section, and we are to um, modify that Works Cited paragraph as follows. So we are going to have the insertion point immediately before that paragraph, and insert, so the Insert tab, a page break. We can see that the work cited paragraph was pushed forward to a brand new page. Center by just using the Home tab center tool. And inserting a bibliography. So that's the last thing I will. Um, demonstrate. So we want to make sure that our insertion point is in the blank line following the paragraph work cited. We will use the references tab, bibliography, and we're going to choose the very bottom choice insert bibliography uh, without a section title. And a wonderful bibliography is inserted automatically. I hope that gives you help as you work through your Module 2 project.